we the are then. A silver lining for him. Q3 at the Dutch Grand Prix. We are about to get underway. 12 don't minutes don't of qualifying. Don't forget, Moss will, Moss will be starting P11 because Flecky has that yes. flight place grid penalty. This is it. So maybe Moss in a little bit of a, a, a prime position to play around with his strategy and, uh, and try out something a little bit different see if that works for him they always, Maybe they always say don't they if, you, if you're not going to be on pole with the next place next best place on the grid is p11 and that's exactly what moss has got fortune favors the brave but uh, i think most drivers are going to be heading out early doors i think with how short a lap this is you probably realistically get maybe three attempts in you reckon um out of my four uh research runs i only did it once where Q3 I did have and there's literally no downtime you've literally got to be so quick to change the tab get the tyres on get out yeah it's uh, it'll be a stretch it's a push is it okay Tommy Hunky comes back in good to see you my friend you join us here as the cars are heading out to uh, take their first Q3 laps now this is the fight for pole position Leroy Jenkins putting his money on snacks 22 for pole well we've got two dutchmen in q3 for their home race so let's see if one of them can find a bit of speed and uh, and take the top step here we got a, a few cars naturally backing up trying to create a little bit of space here with the only 10 cars should be relatively uh, relatively safe but uh let's have a look at uh, mr ultra you want to see too much of him sporting a new racing lid livery is looking pretty good if i say so myself nicely there brakes a little bit late has to go down an extra gear a little bit of a wobble on the exit as we say full throttle through this section here You'll see they are all going to be on uh, on soft tyres. Nobody is going to come even close to setting a lap on mediums. Now all drivers do get an extra set of those soft tyres. So they're going to be a throwing caution to the wall in their bid for pole position. Who's your money on, AJ? Who are you sticking a, who are you sticking a, a quiet tenor on? Got to be snacks at this point. Think he's topped snacks. both sessions. Home, home yeah, he's hero. topped both sessions. I don't think anybody's got anywhere. Well, Callum Ultra got close. Ooh. If Callum Ultra can hook, if Callum Ultra can hook one up, we went on the he's going to give Snacks a run for his money. But that is the fastest lap we've seen of qualifying. It's a one nine six for Snacks. That is as quick as he has gotten so far. Storm Twister beating Ultra in the mercedes battle no doubt that uh, little uh, little venture onto the gravel is a cost ultra a good few tents there see what he's got now exotic going very slowly no doubt just uh, waiting for a uh, i'm sure he's got plenty of space in front of him starts to come around to start his time lap Almost like a little slingshot, isn't it? Going out of this uh, this bank section at the end. It's a fantastic feature. I genuinely cannot wait to see uh, a genuine uh, F1 race around Zandvoort. I'm intrigued to see what the racing goes like, to be fair. Yeah, big shout out to Abbott Gaming. I already mm. said it. He's uh, through to Q3. Absolutely. It uh, be interesting to see if he sets the lap. He's not showing signs of moving at the moment. He may very well just save these tyres. Uh, he's used a lot he, to he get. Do. If he's used a lot to get here and he's not confident he's going to start above tenth, he might just decide to stay in the pit lane for this session. Yeah, it might not be the uh, the worst decision in the world. I think he might be maybe just waiting a little bit for a few of these guys to get out set a time, and once the track gets a little bit quieter. I think you might head out. So a double I mean, we'll stack see. at Mercedes, so Storm Twister better hope that Callum Ultra doesn't do a, have a bot ass happen to him and have a, a tyre stuck. <laughs> Longest pit stop ever. Which I think is uh, still being timed, and I think it's up to something like 78 hours at this point. Uh, it's been removed, so, uh, finally. 
It has, well, it has, it has, oh, okay. it has been removed. Nice. They, uh, Mercedes released a video of them sort of doing something with the wheel nut and they managed to get it free. Exotic goes P2. A 109. Yeah, made the, made the double one work. Trimmed the fuel. Made sure he had enough ERS. It's a good lap. It's not bad. Abbott Gaming still in the pits. we got Mercy and he, he might have to watch to out here, though. He's got a Renault and an Alpha coming behind him and a Red Bull. So if he runs out of fuel this lap, it might be a bit interesting. Mm. Got to make sure you're getting back round into the pit lane. The story so far, Callum Ultra, slowest of the time set. He's uh, not having a good Q3 so far. We see what Mertz he's got coming round through the bank section. Oh, picks up a little bit of gravel on the inside. You can see the ears recovering. What's he got? It's enough for P8 a 110. There we go. Abbott Gaming heading on an out lap. Agent comes into the pits. Interesting. Not happy with his lap. He'll get another go. But um, yeah, not ideal uh, for him at all. So we've got quite a few in the pits. While Appenel is back out almost immediately on an out lap. Do you think this is a, uh, a brand new, is it a brand new set of tyres that he's come back out on? Or uh, it's showing as one right? lap old, but that may okay. well be his, uh, his out lap. So maybe a scrub set for while lap here. Hmm. Let's see what he's got in the locker. Meanwhile, Abbott Gaming, the last, uh, one of the last men to set a time agent has come out but darted back into the pit lane obviously not happy with something with the car or you know not uh, not quite hooking up a lap and want some uh, some brand new tires to have another go yeah. with we'll using, using a scrub going. set around here isn't too much of a bad deal you only really on an out lap use a wear them by about one percent and then i mm. think they're usually about three or four percent by the end of a flying lap so worst case scenario he's starting this lap about four or five percent which is basically brand new okay it might not be the worst uh, decision in the world maybe a little second practice run before then uh throwing on some brand new boots for a, yeah, a final as, run at the end and you yeah as you as you probably have experienced like, sometimes a little bit of scrub sets um i'm gonna say the guys in real life say it some of the sticky coating gets kind of removed and they That's actually right. start to sort of liven up a little bit it's sort of seems uh, to come up the temperature a bit quicker hmm abbott gaming will want but, to uh, yeah while i think you're better of it he is in the pits Let's see what block he's got then. Snacks goes even quicker. A 19.3. Oh, Blocky. That is oh. Ap apart from apart from him. Apart from Snacks. Oh Blocky! Fast. Oh he's fastest spinning! Time that, is he? He's going round. He's going the fastest backwards. time that we've seen from anybody that's not Snacks is a 1097. So, um, yeah, Snacks could, really uh, putting down the gauntlet to uh, the others here. He's going to have some very, very dirty tyres. He was pushing it massively, riding the kerbs, and uh, just uh, obviously maybe picked up some marbles, a little bit of dirt, but uh, that's caused him to spin around. He's managed to recover it, fair play, but uh, no doubt he'll be coming into the pit lane, putting on another set of tyres, looking to get back out there uh, so he can set out one final lap see toad carrot is out at the minute but i think he is just on a bit of a, a warm-up lap just looking to deplete his uh, uh deplete his fuel a little bit get that car lighter fritz 2005 hello from the netherlands great to have you here as we are at your home race at uh, zandvoort we've got a few uh, a few drivers from uh, the Netherlands in the race tonight. Snack22, your countryman, currently sits on pole. Wylap NL as well is sitting third, only by a few thousands of a second. He's going to look for something a little bit more. Could we have a, uh, a completely Dutch uh, front row, maybe? I wouldn't put it past him. I wouldn't put it past him either. Only exotic stands in the way of that right now. 
Uh, this is the man I want to see though, Callum Ultra. He's about to start a fast lap. A little bit off key in this qualifying session so far. Yeah, he's just not managed to get up there in Q2, but uh, so we're not able to just start to like hook it all together. You see him just go like wide at one corner and then at a different part of the circuit. Yeah, just a couple it wrong, of wobbles just... here and there. Yeah, which is which is very unlike him. He's usually sort of Mr. Clean, That's it. gets all the basics right, and the speed is there. But uh, yeah, struggling for pace today. Well, Fritz, you are more than welcome here. Sit back and watch the final few minutes of this Q3 session before we have a 50% race here at Zandvoort. Stats so that's on another outlap as well. The top three all on outlaps, to be fair. We're staying on board with Toad Carrot in the Ferrari, seeing what he's got, whether he can, uh, can maybe push into the 109s, maybe start pushing for a little, uh, a little top three spot. Indeed, Callum Ultra's flying. We'll have a little look. He's just got to hook up these last two corners. Everything's looked nice and tidy so far. A little bit of gravel doesn't hold him too much. Toad Carrot improves, but not enough. I think this might be quick. What's Ultra got? Boom! It is there quick. He goes. One four nine. Wow. One nine four. I told you it looked quick. Woo! Callum Ultra finally finds a bit of form in the dying few minutes of this session. Well, he needed but that, didn't he? There's a plenty of laps happening. We've got a yellow flag in sector one. Not sure if that's an accident. No, I think it's just uh, some cars moving out of the way. It's a Ferrari, yeah, so it's Toad Carrot. Let's have a look and see He's what uh, Y lap's got. Boy. He's coming around the final few corners. The exotic isn't too far behind, but this is the uh, the battle maybe for third place here. What's he got? What's he got? The hype man from last week's back of Grand Prix. Oh, he pips him. He goes quicker and goes into third place of 109.8. Now we're going to switch over uh, to exotic. Yeah, I was, I was about to say he didn't improve, but that's his teammate agent across the line. Shout out to both McLarens getting through. Yeah. The Q3. Uh, Here comes Exotic then. Exotic. Oh, Exotic goes P3 goes again. Quicker. 197. Woo! Wow, seven seconds to go now. Surely, Wild Lapper now, I think, is throwing it round for one more lap. Whether he's going to be up on his time remains to be seen. Oh, I think a car has gone off had gone off the track reset to track i think that was storm twister it was storm yeah i think it was toad carrot i think he was coming to the pits anyway but uh had to yeah duck storm was trying to get that. the car turned around uh, snacks was coming through for another lap and uh, found a mercedes coming at him the wrong way through the Ooh. banking as he tried to turn it around that's uh it's gonna be a little bit scary that's for sure let's see what uh no blocky is pulled out of that lap Fresh agent still hasn't set a time in Q3. We're on board. What's he got now? He's coming up to the line. Only enough to stay P10 at 111.1. Now, Wylap cannot improve. So, Exotic is going to be very, very comfortable in P3. He's going to cross the line, though. Not sure he's going to find three tenths. No, he doesn't. Doesn't improve. Wow. There we go, then, folks. We have a dutchman on pole position snacks 22 wow with a 109.385 set it early set that benchmark and no one was able to answer it that's a hell of a lap that's a beauty yep shout out to uh Callum Ultra and exotic they stopped the uh the front row home boys they did indeed. It was looking well, they stopped one of them while, at least. It? Yeah, they start, yeah. stopped half of them. It was uh, it was looking odds on for a while, but uh, it's getting close. The two championship mm. leaders, they are tied on 79 points in this Drivers' Championship on the front row. So in order then, Snatch 22 takes a pole position in that Red Bull. Channeling is in a Max Verstappen. Callum Ultra, Exotic Plains, Wyla Pennell complete the top four. Toad Carrot, Blocky, Storm Twister, Mertzi, Abbott Gaming, and then Fresh Agent round out the top ten. A brilliant, brilliant Q3, it must be said. Big G. Me.